Good day, my name is Ludoli Matule and I'll be taking you through my presentation on the control of the obscure millibug Pseudococcus valduni using internet pathogenic fungi and nematodes in deciduous fruit orchards. Pseudococcus valduni, commonly known as the obscure millibug, is a serious polyphagous cosmopolitan insect pest attacking ornamentals and fruit trees. In South Africa, the obscure millibug is one of the dominant pests of apples and pears. However, the millibug also attacks other deciduous fruit crops including grapes, plums and peaches. When feeding, the millibug extracts and ingests large amounts of phloem sap and excretes the excess sap as honeydew. Secretion of honeydew by P. valduni causes severe secondary damages as the honeydew falls on the plant leaves, stems and twigs and promotes growth of sooty molds. The presence of sooty molds on produced fruit has a significant economic implications as it reduces the fruit marketability. A stained fruit and consignment to fruit showing the presence of this millibug during export are more likely to be downgraded or rejected due to strict phytosanitary standards being upheld. Current management of P. vibrini in agroecosystems relies mainly on the use of both biological and chemical control. However, these methods have proven to be ineffective as the millibug has developed some level of resistance against chemical insecticides currently being used for its control. Currently, entomopathogens, mainly entomopathogenic fungi and entomopathogenic nematodes, are also attracting attention as natural enemies and potential biological control agents of arthropod pests including homopterous pests in agricultural production areas. The overall aim of the current study was to evaluate entomopathogenic fungi alone and entomopathogenic fungi in combination with entomopathogenic nematodes in laboratory and field trials for the biological control of the obscure millibug in an IPM system and also to select the best two EPF isolate and one EPN isolate against the obscure millibug. To assess the efficacy of entomopathogenic fungi against the obscure millibug, screening bioassays were conducted using eight local EPF isolates and one commercial EPF isolate broadband. The highest average percentage mortality of the obscure millibug due to EPF infection was obtained when using the local isolate of Metarhizium ruberti, whereby a percentage of 95.8% percent in average percentage mortality was observed and also when using the local isolate of Metarhizium pinhainsi whereby an average percentage of 90.8 percent average mortality of the obscure millibug was observed. Picture A and picture B are showing mycosis on EPF infected Pseudococcus verbini cadavers which occurred five to seven days following exposure and inoculation to the EPF isolates. When assessing the efficacy of entomopathogenic nematodes against the obscure millibug, screening bioassays were also conducted using six local in vivo cultured EPN isolates of Heteroraptidus and Stenonema. Heteroraptidus indica showed to be the most effective isolate compared to the other five isolates with a high average percentage of mortality of 79.2%. The picture shows a dissected infected cadaver of Pseudococcus vibrini following exposure to infective juveniles of H. indica after 48 hours. The current study has shown that the isolate of Metarhizium ruberti and Metarhizium pinhensi are the most effective EPF isolates against Pseudococcus verbini and also that Heteroraptus indica is the most effective EPN isolate against the obscure millibug. So further evaluations of both this EPF and EPN species in combination will be assessed against the obscure millibug under both um, laboratory and field conditions. We would like to thank Hot Grow for funding of our project. Thank you.